to give Kawano a run for their money. Yeah, and both of them are looking for revenge because Kawano was the one who sent both of them to loser's bracket. So uh, Kawano took out Akira uh, very early on. Uh, the second start. round, or sorry, the second game of top eight. Yeah, the second game yeah. of top eight, yeah, earlier. And then uh, now Akira trying to make it there, but then, of course, Kawano then immediately took out uh, Otani right afterwards. So, yeah, so he took out Akira and Otani back-to-back, -back, mm -hmm. and those are both of the players here trying to come and get their revenge. So who's it going to be? Is it going to be Otani with the Luke or Akira with the Kami? This is going to be a wild ride, man. I want to see if Akira will still have that play style about him to get the hooligan setups going, right? I want to see if he has the audacity to keep right. the mix alive or will Otani stuff him out straight with the uh, uppercuts against the dive kicks. I know it's a very, very shallow pregame analysis, but we've seen how effective it was when we saw Akira versus Kawano. We saw right, how exactly. linear that matchup was in terms of the offensive strategies Akira was implementing. Now, we'll see if Otani says, has that same type of beast in his arsenal on defense. Yeah, see, can he play the footsies that Kawano did? Had the anti-airs. And was Otani paying very close attention to that matchup? Because there was a lot to be gleaned from that matchup. And we already see an immediate jumping OD dive kick right there. An OD cannon strike from Akira finding its mark. What a back dash. Wait, Wait a minute. Whoa. Huh? He did, what? I didn't even see what he went. He, so he did, he got a punish counter, two cross jabs, yeah. but the OD perfect knuckle was too oh, far. What? That was a wake up fireball right there? Was that a wake up sandblast? There's a lot of uh, execution errors from Otani here at the start, but he's going to get the burnout on the back throw punish counter. Oh, this is huge for Otani. That hasn't gone for the drive, and there it is! Gets the stun! How much damage can Otani do here? Can he kill with the level two? No, not gonna be enough, so he's gonna stay for me. Oh, he tried to go for another one. He tried. Yeah. Oh, my God, be careful. Anytime you whiff, there's that chance to get whiff punished now. Of course, that crouching strong from, uh, oh, that that's a punish counter. That should be dead. Level two should, well, actually, no, he yeah. should get the level no, three. No, there's too much scaling involved. You have to level three. He yeah, has to do he, it. He gained it. He gained, he was at a level two. Oh, Jesus. Somebody's going to pay for all the pavement that's been busted up by this American. Come on, man. <laughs> I know. You're right next to the Eiffel Tower, and you're destroying the floor around here. Come on. That's this a historic a, landmark. It's a popular tourist spot, man. Come on, Luke. I wonder if they don't want Americans going anywhere, dude. It feels bad. Oh, he counter hit. Yeah, oh, I don't think he was more. expecting it to combo. like the uh, attempt to perfect parry after the standing heavy kick is blocked, and especially after the dive kick. So again, if you're minus but safe, that's when you perfect parry. Mm -hmm. That's when you try to go for it until your opponent proves that they're willing to try to throw you in that situation. Two. Okay. Okay. The damage. Doing a lot of damage to the life gauge and the drive bar with the perfect oh, parry. No. That back throw is everything. Otani could set himself nicely. Maybe up nicely for like an, an extra couple of bars, perhaps. Yeah, that was a great sequence right there because he, you know, parried three hits on one drive parry, so he gave a lot of a counter back. conversion. That's so sick. Oh, oh God, Otani just shy of burning himself out. Oh, he was right, right on the verge. Here we go. He threw all the time. Watch out for the OD uppercut. Oh, he got the damage counter, but he didn't do anything off of it. Yeah. Akira could have. Potentially. Oh, no way you're going to react to that. Was he buffering? He was buffering the whole time. He erased that dive kick out of my face, out of existence. <laughs> Otani striking first, game one. And this is what I mean by, you know, as much as the hooligan can be uh, 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 annoying to deal with and it's, you know, 20 some frame startup, it's still kind of a shenanigan. It's still kind of a gimmick because you are leaving yourself vulnerable, very right. vulnerable right. for that entire chunk. You know, so uh, right there, perfect response uh, from Otani Truly. taking game number one. Man, and what a response, too. Like, there were so many instances where it was, I was kind of scared for Otani. Like, I felt in my bones. He's like, you know, if I get this forward throw, I'm going to get another throw going. One of the big trademarks that Akira has been doing is wake up, jump, OD. Right, right. Yes, yes. Right, immediate drive rush. Here. There's that stand light punch check. He said, very important for characters with a good walk speed. Oh, trying to bait out a DP, but what wow. a reaction against the sandblast! We haven't seen that in a long time. It's so hard to get through that sandblast in time. 
And now the throw, Akira, you now she needs one more, and wow! Mid screen, and that's not even a throw loop, but he just knew Otani was too scared to press buttons. There's the low forward exposure. Otani got caught potentially walking back against Ooh. Akira. Oh, the full conversion off the top jab. Uh. Wow! Stay down, no you! Damn. This is going to hurt. And that's just a level two. And look how much with the damage. damage. Yeah, because he went for the the, the tackle, the yep. OG tackle. A good so non-scaling starter. Oh, that's exactly it. Yeah. Get another spin knuckle through a sandblast here. Is it possible? That's if Otani decides to throw another sandblast. Right. Right? At this range, Otani is anticipating off to nose. That standing oh. like it gets everything back roundhouse. Crouching fears. Perfect knuckle into perfect knuckle. And just in case it wasn't done, he had one more flash <laughs> behind it. Yep. All right. So Akira was able to take round one, but this is a terrible start. Because this is just damage. Look at that. That is like 40%. The driver was able to keep him there. And Akira commits to the crime of throwing. What a life lead here, and he's got a level oh, two. It. This that's should it. be able to finish it. Beast mode, oh, baby! Uh, Perfect KO. Otani back in form from his previous fall in the winner's finals. He's looking right back in shape to where he started. Another, another commanding two games thus far. And I'm not going to lie, man, not a lot of cats can really come back from this type of pressure against any loot player. Yeah, Akira so far having a lot of trouble against the loot players. Oh, well, this is a big opportunity. Get some good damage. All right, catches the ankles right there. Wasn't blocking low, maybe trying to walk. Yep, that's going to be the auto quick. But again, you get out of the corner. Gee. Damn. Damn. And the thing is, that's the thing, is Akira gets these rounds. He gets these rounds, but he just hasn't been able to string them back to back enough to be able to win again. How many jumps, James? He went for three boy, jumps. Boy, boy, and boy, Otani boy. couldn't stop hitting him. Oh my god. That's the first side switch we've seen yeah, from Otani. True. He's always been going for the damage. Oh, standing. Oh, that time was out of range for the light. <laughs> Good thing he didn't accidentally uh, negative edge the drill afterwards. Gotta find a way out of this corner. Does get that, but didn't combo off of the counter hit. Oh, no anti-air. It's kind of far, no? Yeah. And and again, you're scared of the dive kick, but remember how Kuano was able to defeat Akira was with having the rising uppercut ready to go. Oh, do you want that? Yeah. Oh, oh that's Omar! Akira getting another chance at life. Oh, Tani very overzealous. I don't think we've seen that type of error yeah. from him ever. Or just a Hail Mary all of a sudden. Yeah, Let's the, hair, for the... the Hail Mary. Why did I say hair? I don't have that. Hail Mary, fierce, flash, knuckle. That's kind of wild. To, yeah. I mean, like, I get uh -huh. it. If it hits, it hits. You're, you're almost going to kill somebody with that. But <laughs> still, from Otani, that's a very yeah. rare occasion. Especially against a character like Kami with such good walk speed, right? And it's not like it's not like thunderclaps from Street Fighter V where it forces you to not be able to walk back anymore. We don't have that happening I was thinking here. about it. I'm like, what's a thunderclap? And oh. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that yep, character. Yep, yeah. Laura making, preventing you from walking backwards. No more proximity guarding mm -hmm. in Street Fighter VI. Now, yeah. so you 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 are even if the enemy is throwing something out, you just walk backwards, whatever. And so, yeah, with a character with a walk speed like that, it's gonna make it hard uh, to catch them with something like that. A uh, fully charged, heavy flash knuckle. Yeah. Both of these characters so serious. Not even a single emote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always sad because I love those emotes. Yeah, I'm always mashing on the up button for the smile. Oh, <laughs> always the like the, the eye rate. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And yeah, gonna go for the side switch right there. He even throws in that extra standing light punch. Interesting. <laughs> I guess he wants that meter, right? That's true. Oh, he had it, but it was too late. Perfect parry into the throw. This is bad news for Akia. He's stuck in the corner now. Yeah, no anti. How many times has Akira done that jump and then jump dive kick right away? That's at least the second or third time I've seen him do that. Look at this, working on this comeback little by little, death by a thousand paper cuts, but actually a punish counter throw is gonna be 2,000 damage right there. Oh! That's huge. 
doesn't walk up again. Dude, that is a punch. Dude. He's got plenty of time for her to land and get the light kick. Akira. He did tiny chunks of damage, yes. like five times in a row right there, and it all worked. As we would say, death by a thousand cuts, and it's very much so appropriate with the character yeah. like Kami. So it, it's so tantalizing to press a button from that range, but you know the dive kick's coming out. Yes, exactly. And that actually tempers the power of something like a couch medium kick. Right. Because you're scared. That's that's like, oh, and this time, oh. it's not fast enough. It's not fast enough. Doesn't matter. Otani actually kind of gives a gift to Akira Twice. with that whip throw. Locked on. Locked on. Continuing you know, as scary as this is for Otani, one solid hit, he actually can get Oh, Akira. speaking one of. One solid hit, he could potentially get it here. Is this going to be enough? It's not going to be no, enough. Yeah, Never not mind. Right into the he yellow. He didn't have enough drive gauge yeah. behind it. But it still sets him up pretty nicely. Going out, perhaps? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. And Chip, Sandblaster is a problem. Sandblast. Oh, no, he's going to wait. Yeah, he's you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Spiral Spin arrow. Oh, oh, he tried to chip him with the shoulder. It wasn't enough to kill. Oh, boy. But he just got his... You are the a god for that. Me? The walk speed is immaculate. Lock it up. Playing him like a fiddle. That was actually <laughs> so perfectly done. The shimmy at the last second, as soon as he gained his drive gauge back after the spin knuckle, just that tiny little hesitation got Jeez. Otani thinking, oh, shoot, here comes a throw. Oh. That was actually so, so well seasoned, too. Even Gordon Ramsay would say that was perfectly cooked. Well done, young man. <laughs> it was actually oh, a yeah. chef's kiss for that. I mean, the defense in burnout is something so special. Right. I mean, what was it? What, what, what is it that I say? Is he in the kitchen right now? Because someone was cooking. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, that is what he. <laughs> that's actually what he. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, shout out to Andrew, by the way. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Oh yeah, actually got into the range of Ooh. that crouching medium kick, so actually got Otani to spend that meter on the dry brush cancel. Oh, he did it again. He snuck it in again. He's so good at that. Level one. Dead. Dude, from the, listen, this is classic commentator's curse. He was down 0-2. Now he's looking at mass point. Right? And, and even in some of those games, I mean, he was down by a lot. We talked about that death by a thousand Oh, no, and that was a heavy DP. No. He wanted the distance, but it's too much on startup. Dude, talk, I mean, catch it in time. that was, uh, I mean, Ringe did a whole video on that sequence right there, on being able to empty jump and block. Because if you whip a button, you have landing frames that are, uh, you have extra recovery frames. Oh, oh. Oh, life bar. Oh, but the damage on drive gauge pretty significant. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Counter, punish counter, but didn't get anything off of that. Burns himself out with the drive reversal. Wanted to burn himself out on his own accord. I think Otani was expecting a wake up level one or something like that. And so Akira snuck away with that wake up jab. I'm actually very surprised he missed that, right? Off of the cross oh, medium. Oh, boy. Those are not good trades for Ooh. Akira. And yeah, you're going to get. Oh, if he, had landed, landed, to it. if he had landed in level one, that would have been ridiculous. But it wouldn't have killed. So Akira keeping it. We're at final game, final round to find out who goes to grand finals. Are you oh kidding? God, two more! Otani again. Getting punished for the heavy flash knuckle. Yeah, misplacing it. Charged it a little too long, actually. Had he let go of it a little bit earlier, it would have worked. That's the like second or third time that Aki has got that. But what again, a perfect carry. And he's not going to switch. No, he's not going to go for damage. the back throw or the side switch. He wants the damage. What a reaction. Not Didn't get baited into the whip throw. Had the DP ready to go. Did not anti-air! Huge. Okay, but a lot. Oh, he dropped! That's the biggest weakness of Luke, is the drop of the perfect charge flash knuckle. Oh, and not a lot of drive gauge behind oh. him either. No way! He reacted a little forward! Are you serious? serious? Is this gonna He's kill? Dead. Oh my god! He just what? whiffed the button and then just went for the level two! He just oh did it! Oh my god! He, he just did it! He punished the low forward with eraser. You God, what in the heck what was that? Ma I mean, you just whiffed and you're like, oh crap, and you just buffer oh the motion and you see a button. God. And he just went oh, for Tani, it. Oh, Tani, you are a lord. You are a lord. I mean, if you're 
Akira, what? after being down 0-2, making the way all this comeback and losing like that, that is brutal. I mean, that'll wipe the smile off of anybody's face at that point. Brother, that is mad difficult. What oh. in the world was that? <laughs> <laughs> We're both just completely. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I have no. I have no analysis on that. I am just confused right now. There's plenty of expletives I want to use tonight. <laughs> Jesus! What a game! Oh what my a God. set! Down what a series. final game, final round. Just about as tense as you could possibly ask God for. Lee. Akira just making the crazy comeback. That shimmy right there was godlike. And then here we go. This is the end sequence right here. Oh. And there it is. He just went for it after the whip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Let me see that one more time. Here we Slow go. Slow it down for me. So hold that up. was the trade right there. And then hold up. Good. Oh, oh that classic. Serious? And you know what's crazy? He buffered it after the whiff crouch medium punch. That's the sickest thing. That's actually the sickest thing. And what's also really cool about that as well, he's not, he wasn't like buffering for like quarter circle forward. He had a level three, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he had like uh -huh. buffered like quarter circle forward and he was like, he pushed himself too far forward, he might've got clipped with the low forward from uh, Kami, the low game oh. kick. But that's so, man, that's God, I mean, I'm still surprised beautiful. he went for the level two instead of, Be, me way, too. Right? instead of the level three, but I mean, it killed because again, that's beast mode, baby, right there. And beast mode, Otani, baby. Books himself a trip back to the grand finals for a chance to go up against Kawano for some revenge. As you can see, Kawano and Otani was a 